today. It was warm yesterday. Yeah. Now it's cold. Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh-huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. Take a seat, pay us no attention, it's all conspiracy. We have satire and parody, some funny, some perverse. If none of it's offensive to you, you'd be the first. Yo guys, this is me, Christy, and I played you a little bit of a short intro and all that other stuff. Welcome to Flip. How's it going, guys? How are you guys? Oh, and I should actually play my little frickin' intro, which I don't know what happened to it because it's not there. Oh, it's right here. Okay. It just kind of moves around. You know how it is. I put move it to the top because that's how it is. Anyway, let me go play my little intro. Have fun. There we go. How's it going, guys? Hey, Crimson Owl, how's it going? Um, I'm with Flip. We're transferring over from the other show, but this one I draw in. So how's it going, you guys? How you doing, Flip? How's the electrical things going? Well, power is back off, but this time it's only going to be on half the house, not the whole house. So I'm still having internet, which is good. Well, so, that's yay me. At least you get to charge <laughs> your phone, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, um, but yeah, no, it's just been an interesting thing. I didn't realize that um, our transformers weren't updated, in, you know, like forever. They're kind you of shitty about that. So it's like kind of like when they say, "Oh, there's not a good, good, um, freaking, um, freaking, uh, if there's not a good enough like infrastructure in this country, I think it's just because they just don't want to bring attention to like, oh, we might actually have to put out the capacity." that what we say that they'd pay for and only if the person picks up on it. Yeah. Which is kind of messed up to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, you know, I, I, I like living out in the boonies. I've, I've come to love it because I don't get, get harassed, but certain things I, I realize we get forgotten about, you know, like when it floods out here or like when the transformer blows, like, we're, we're like the last, you know, people that they'll actually go and fix crap for. <laughs> right. You know. I hear you so. on that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of idly drawing. People are like, what do you mean idly drawing? That's weird. I'm like, idly drawing, guys. Yeah. Oh, you know what I can do? I can go ahead and open up um, Demon B. I'll just be coloring Demon B while we talk. So well, anyway, yeah, this is my new project coming up. It's one of the new books on the Kickstarter that I'm going to be doing. But I'm finishing it up before I release a Kickstarter, though. I have that rule. Yeah. So because I have another one called Demon Bitch Pen is here. So it looks like penis here, but you put the underscore so you can't, it can't be dirty and you can go and do stuff. 
<laughs> I'm a dick sometimes. I swear to God, I, I, I think I've successfully made an IP that I can be a dick, but I'm not a total fucking piece of shit about it, you know? Yeah. No, that's good, man. Uh-huh. Now, where is it? Twitter is being shitty right now. Oh, what's going on over at Twitter? How's it being oh, messed no, up? It's, no, it's not sharing to that. That's the thing. Because like oh, for a I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, demon. The thing is, is that when um when they do that, I'll open it up. See, that's some of the pictures right here. So um, great rule. Yeah, awesome. Great rule. Yeah, Crimson Owl. I'm all about that. You know, show that shit up, right? It, it's just like you. I just like to. I think essentially it was the immature kid in me that never really got to express herself. But instead mm -hmm. of like doing stupid things like taking a bunch of illegal drugs and messing up my life or getting a drinking problem or any of those other things, I decided to say. Well, I'll just draw fucked up things and make everybody laugh about it. Great, great idea. <laughs> you know, so it's like demon bitch and um, demon bitch and all that, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, this is the cover. It's like demon bitch. And I'm thinking of doing it kind of like watercolor, but I don't know if I have enough, if I have enough memory in my thing to do that. But we'll see. Well, let's let, like draw it like it is on a piece of blue paper and let's go on how that is. So other than that, what are you up to other than doing your general thing? Oh, Philip. Philip got cut off. I haven't done a Kickstarter yet, but I'm going to have my book done b before I launch. Oh, there's Flip. What happened, dude? Yeah. No, it's because again they're they're still working on the transformer, so it's it's doing that thing where I have to refresh sometimes. But yeah, oh. dude, no, um, that's that's awesome, man. Do it like in watercolors; it would make it look more, you know, it, you know, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, uh, the guy that did um, Thirty Days of Night. What the fuck is his name? Um, shit, I can't remember the the artist's name right now. Which one? Anyway. Uh, the 30 days a night guy, the one oh, that worked with uh, Steve Miles. I know who you are. It's uh, I forgot his fucking name now, too. I'm like lame today. Ben Temple Smith, like doing yeah. a watercolor would definitely pop like that, dude. It would yeah. fit so well. The problem is, is that like with this watercolor, like I'm doing wet blotting ink, that's what I would like to use. But the problem is, is if you notice, it kind of chugs up a lot of memory because it's trying to like do a bunch of other stuff. So I'm thinking of maybe doing. I don't know. I kind of want to do it this way. Let's see how this works. It kind of works. I don't know. I kind of want to make it kind of look scribbly and shitty because it's a kid's book. Not that kids' books are scribbly and shitty, but you get what I mean. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Oh, uh, yeah. And I got invited to the Immortal Studios um, thing, and that's been good. So. That's been fun. They're releasing a lot of things. If you don't know who Mortal Studios is, you should check them out. They're doing a, they do wuxia, which is like fantasy kung fu and stuff. So it's like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon type shit. So you should check it out. But, yeah, they're, I, I saw some of their stuff. Man. They're, they're really good. Um, the other thing that I enjoy that they're doing is now that they're getting a, a bigger foothold into the industry, like you know, a bigger name for themselves, is um, they're really certain to promote people that are less famous than they are and i thought mm -hmm. that was cool when i started seeing that on their social media profiles that they were you know um giving call outs to certain people i was just like dude that's awesome <laughs> yeah. pei Juan yeah. is actually a really cool guy he's been known as peter shao but now he goes by pei Juan. like that's his original original chinese name so if you guys mm -hmm. are wondering I, th I only see peter chow in some things it's like no it's pei Juan. it's uh he went back to he's going by his original chinese name right now so, yeah, check it out. You know, he's very sweet. He's very, very, very sweet. I almost fucked up and I almost said his other name, his English name. Oh, Peter Chow? Uh, Peter Chow, yeah. Don't fuck me up, yeah. goddammit. Anyway. So, well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I understand why a lot of them are doing it because of the fact that, like, that's the name their parents gave them, for goodness yeah. sakes. And number one. Number two, um, you know, not trying to be mean, but, like, Sometimes it's kind of messed up as a society. Like, if we can't pronounce your your name, we try to get you to, you know, whichever society is, you know, 
has the more famous um, arts or whatever. Like we always change their name for some reason. Like Stan Lee is not really Stan Lee. He changed his name from like his Jewish name, you know, and so on and so forth. So did a few others. Like, I just, I don't understand why we do that in America. It's just, you know, I mean, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, that dude never changed his name. Everyone's like, oh, you should, because Schwarzenegger's so hard. But now that he's super famous, everyone just learned to say his name. So well, it's kind of like I people have a- say that shit to you. You're just like going, yeah, okay. And then they, they go ahead and they, because like, what I noticed, like when I did Demon Bitch, right? So many people yeah. were giving me like suggestions to do the character and all that and look i'm not trying to shit on anybody that's wanting to give suggestions okay sometimes it's up to you to take it or not i've seen it both ways where it works well or where it just fucking kills everything you know so it's really up to your own personal judgment but it was funny because people everywhere in the world people were telling me how i should go and get it done and then you have to also keep in mind some people and i'm not saying all okay so i'm not saying don't take create constructive criticism at all okay just take it for what it is okay Go by your gut. Okay. That being said, I'm saying that, you know, if a person is being, if a person is doing it, but they're not coming from a good place, you don't have to take it. And also, even if they are, you don't need to say anything to them. Like in terms of like, you don't need to take the advice, you know, right. You're not going to be any less whole if you take it or not, you know, but you know, if they're coming from a good place, don't be an arrogant asshole about it. And I'm not trying to say if they're being annoying, unduly annoying or anything, they're just, it's just don't be a jerk about it. Just go by what you need, think you need to do. Right. But, oh, excuse me. Oh, this cold has also been bringing in the allergies too. Oh, we lost flip again. But anyway, so I'm coloring in demon bitch if you guys haven't seen. So take a look and we're going to have fun with this shit. And here you're back again. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I had to redo it. It's okay. But anyway. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Back to you, Linda. Um, yeah, no. Um, dude, I, I like I said, certain certain things. Um, going back to our conversation, because I don't know how much you um, sped up or not. Um, talking about you know our conversation here. Uh, but no. yeah, I, 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 I respect the guy for going with his original name and, you know, um, it's going to take some time for me to learn. I'm, you know, um, only cause it's, you know, I, I have Chinese friends that have been trying to teach me Chinese as of late. And I, some of the words I, I find fun, but some of the words it's very hard because like they're, I, the only way I can describe it is the tongue is very relaxed in, in, in their language. And, um, because it's so relaxed, I'm not used to it. Because in, in talking American, I didn't realize how hard our R's were until I started trying to learn Chinese. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like we, we, we stick our R sounds pretty hard versus uh-huh. theirs. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so I'm like, I like it a lot. That's what uh, Crimson L <laughs> is saying. I'm saying it in the Dumb and Dumber accent because I just remember that. But yeah, so I mean, I just find it funny that the whole thing, but yeah, I got invited to their thing. I can't talk too much about it, but they had a good thing. And Peter actually did like an interesting meditation. I think it was a heart meditation. I'll probably post pictures about that a little bit later and all that shit. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, please do. Yeah. Yeah. it will be good. They're really great pictures. Fuck. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So I, now do you actually know Peter or, or, or as a yeah, friend or is it? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, they're going to be at the next Asian Invasion. Oh, let me just show you the Asian Invasion, guys. So this is what Asian Invasion is. It's going to be in Manhattan Beach in Los Angeles. And it's going to be a bunch of Asian creators, both from fucking, like, comics to, like, designs and pins and things like that. So what's he saying? Really enjoy Demon Bitch from what I've seen. Thank you, Crimson Owl. Yeah, it's basically I make fun of people I don't like. Now, the thing is, what makes it different is, like, they're based on actual, like, archetypes that I've run into. And the sad thing is, like, when sometimes some people from those archetypes come over and they say to me, you're you're making fun of me. You drew me. I said, no, honey, I ran into four or five of you already. You're not special. And mind you, it's like this. I don't like to punch down on a demographic. Like, there are some people that punch down on people like neck beards and shit like that. And I'm just kind of like, you know, the guys that I met that would kind of fit the bill, 
they're actually one of the sweetest guys. So I don't understand why you're being such an asshole about it, you know? Because most neckbeards yeah. really I don't have a problem with. They're like, oh, they're condescending and they mansplain everything. I said, I, I never got that from any of them. So what, I don't know. What is a neckbeard exactly? I guess a neckbeard is somebody that like they get stubble on their neck and they don't bother to clean it up. What up and what up? Hey, Atrocity Press, how's it going? Huh. You get what I mean. It's like, That's it's just weird. basically they don't shave, and I guess they're kind of like, they would be regarded as incels, quote unquote. But I'm like, I don't know. I kind of don't get that from them. Huh. You know, they, they've That's always weird. been nice to me. Yeah. Neck beard. That's a, yeah, interesting. Well, you know what's funny is I just, I'm, I, you would think I would, keep up with slang or terms being you know someone working in comics where we we have to like pay attention to like pop culture references and what's going on to to maintain relevancy to make money right but certain things i just like i i, I find rather stupid like no offense to anyone that enjoys you know uh people twerking but even in, back in 2009 when it first started I think twerking so stupid. I really do. Twerking is twerking is really trashy. I'll be honest. I yeah. really don't like twerking. I, I really think it's kind of shitty. And people yeah, are like, That's I, really fucked up you say that. Now, fuck you. I think it's shitty. So. Yeah, I I don't get it. I don't want to get it. Or uh, what was the other uh, uh, thing that, that, that blew up there for a while and I was super against it and I'm glad it died was... Uh, you know how uh what is it uh it, it it was like the new version of house music it was called uh what was it called it was um oh crap it, it, dead mouse does it and skrillex oh, it's, and all uh, of them it's trance i think or something uh, i don't remember yeah i just remember like when i heard it it bothered me i was just like i i couldn't do it you know I, 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 I can understand rap. I understand country. I understand. Oh, dubstep. Dubstep. Thank you, folks. Actually, it's funny. Yeah. I actually like dubstep. So that's hilarious. But yeah, I actually like dubstep, but it kind of, that's kind of how my brain operates. <laughs> like that. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of how my brain acts. I think I would like it that way, you know, but I don't know. I haven't listened to dubstep in a long time. Yeah. Um, it's weird. I, I, I don't know. I personally, you know, I I don't care for certain things in our pop culture. I mean, I get why they happen. You know, anyone that gets their finger on the pulse of what's happening in pop culture uh, and makes their, you know, uh, their bread and butter, like, God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever. But at the same time, there's certain things in pop culture where I'm just like, no, that's stupid. Like, I don't care. I will never listen to dubstep. I will never, you know, uh, probably won't ever see the Twilight films. I'm just not going to do it. Shit, it's not built by. No. Exactly. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, so, shit, I can't believe it. But it's like kind of fun if I dubstep, yeah. Uh, let me see. Does this look bad if I just leave it like this? Because you got to remember. Oh, hold on. I got to take this off. So, yeah, Agent Amazing is happening at the comic bug on Manhattan Beach. So, yeah, take a look at that. It's on the Pacific Islander comic day. It's on March 4th. So I realize nobody is, like, seeing that. Hold on. Let me also go ahead and do this. Take this off so that you can see what I'm actually drawing, guys. <laughs> so many things that I have to go and kind of keep track of. Sorry, I'm deleting something too. Anyway, right. uh, let's see. So, what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm opening up my mail from my benefits package. What's going on? Oh, cool.
I got more free stuff from uh, the disabled veteran stuff. Awesome. Yay. So I'm also Yay. doing that. Yeah, Demon Chicken. Hey, what are you doing with your mic, Phil? Oh, it's probably the other thing. Don't forget all the virtu viral video stuff ha that happened. Oh, try putting in peanuts and coconut and drink it. My father was doing it that way in the 80s and 90s. I mean, Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah, that shit. What about the Tide Pod shit? I'm glad that died pretty quickly. <laughs> you know what? That is my favorite uh, uh, insult. Whenever I get into like, one of those funny insult uh, wars with uh, Gen Zers, I'm like... They were like, your generation ruined a lot of stuff for us. I was like, what's that? And she's like, you guys used to do, you know, and they would name some crazy shit we did in the 90s or in the 80s. And I'm like, yeah, but you dumb motherfuckers ate Tide Pods. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you should fucking talk, dumbass. <laughs> like, you know, of course we r rode our bikes without helmets. <laughs> like, yeah, duh. And you fuckers go on about microplastics too. All right, shut up. Yeah. All right. You know what? Here's here's something funny. Like I pointed out to one of like one of these super woke Gen Zs, or G, you know, Gen Z people. I was like, you realize that we, the United States, could be 100% green by 2030. Let's just say, you know, President, you know, Biden or Trump comes up and says, you know what? Fuck it. We're all gonna go green. And then Congress goes, yeah, we're going to do it. And the Senate goes, sure, we'll sign off on it, right? Like, we're all going to do solar panels and all that crap, blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the thing. No matter what happens, is the world's still going to be as populated today as it was, you know, 20 years ago. Because of the fact that, like, all the poor countries that want to become rich will still use the fossil fuel stuff that we do to create stuff to create our products in order for us to achieve that goal. So we're not really doing it. We're just passing the buck to somebody else. Or I should say passing the blame. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you going to go after those countries? No, because you'll be called a colonizer. Oh, wait, you'll be a colonizer anyway. Never mind, because you'll boss them around anyway. <laughs> this is why I don't get into politics. It's so dumb. <laughs> well, yeah, it gets stupid. That's why it's like sometimes I'm just like, yeah, whatever, you know. I'm I'm all about assigning people like the responsibility it is, but when you default to one thing or another, I'm just kind of like, okay, I just kind of tune out now. Yeah. So. Uh, but anyway, still, yeah. Like for instance, I still I still find it funny that people were like super paranoid about that balloon, but you know I'm like, dude, China's had you know, software and hardware in our infrastructure to spy on us for years, and we've done the same to them. Like, and you guys are barely freaking out over a stupid ass balloon. Like, where have you been the last forty years? Well, out of curiosity, so it's interesting because now it's turned into that these got that what's going on with this is that now there's like these not the balloons, but now they're saying, oh yeah, these other things are flying over. It's like, well, you know, during COVID they said they confirmed UFOs. So if it is a UFO, they did tell you, you know, <laughs> I thought that was weird. Like in the middle of COVID, it's like, oh yeah, we confirmed UFOs are a thing. Oh, okay. And like, nobody said anything, which was hilarious. Yeah. It's like, okay. Whatever. No. I mean, I, I was just kind of laughing about that. Well, I still laugh at the fact that, like, you know, when it comes to actual news, how much they will bury important news versus, you know, entertainment news. Like, I still remember to this day, I think it was CNN. I could be misremembering, but the sheer fact that, you know, we... We were watching, I, I forget, what, I think it was Kentucky or is it Idaho? I forget which one it was, but they were talking about having, you know, police using drones to spy on people, right? Like the police in, in, in some state, I forget, we're going to spy on people and, you know, use just to, to monitor everything. And what was nuts to me was the moment they were going to start talking about it, Justin Bieber crashed his fucking car, and then they were like, oh, this just in, Justin Bieber crashed his car into a palm tree, and then they covered about Justin Bieber, like, for the last 
40 minutes until the show was over and never once talked about, you know what I mean, how the cops in that state might be violating people's privacy. And it, it just blew my mind, mm. you know? Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, I know what you mean. Gen Zero, that's what Quentin says. I'm like, ooh. Oh, wait. I don't want the piss Gen that zero. Later. I kind of want the piss kind of like not so pissy. Hmm. I always like Viper Keeper where he writes like pissy, not so pissy, and all this other stuff. So yeah, there's there's a guy I watch on YouTube called Viper Keeper. I haven't watched him in a long time, but he used to handle he handles like dangerous snakes. He's a I think he's a certified herpetologist. So there you go. Now, should I make this cat? Maybe I should make this cat kind of orange. And... Who has kind of greenish eyes, like my cat Spam, who's kind of a dummy, but that's okay. I don't know. Do you think my cat's dumb? Mm, no, I think it's just that uh, I think your cat's actually quite entertaining. Actually. That doesn't mean he's smart. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What? No, my uh, new PTSD meds came in and they're a different color. Is it like the green M&M's? God, I'm a horrible person. I'm like going, are your fucking psych meds like the, the are they like the green M&Ms or the purple M&Ms or some shit? Oh, yeah. Um, no, the pill is usually white and blue. Now, now they're like a army green and a fuchsia green. Remember that you served your country, soldier? <laughs> Whatever. I just hope they didn't mix up my medication like they did last time. Oh, that's fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Like the pill looks completely different, but the label still reads the same. Mm -hmm. They've done that to me twice. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> it's like, hey, go take your pills. Sure, but you gave me the wrong ones, fucker. Right. Yeah, they didn't know until I had an allergic reaction and my tongue oh, swelled up. It's like, yeah, oh, thanks. You almost killed me. Thanks for almost killing Appreciate me. It. Awesome. Appreciate it. So what do you think? Should I go and leave this gray down here? Because it's going to be kind of like an in inside picture. So I don't know if I should like delete some of the shit right there. Like clear out like some space in there. You know yeah. what? No, keep it. I, what I would do is add maybe like a little bit more like slime or something. You know what I mean? That's what I'm doing. Some what I'm saying puddles. is like with... With this part down here, this is going to be a side, kind of a self-enclosed picture. So I just don't yeah. know. If I, should, I don't know. I'll figure it out. No, I think it's good, man. I'd leave it as is, to be honest. I see. Yeah, I just want to make sure because, like, it's going to be against a white background, this image. So I want to make sure it's, like, it looks about right, if you get what I mean. Oh, it looks good to me. Actually, why don't I do this? This might probably work better. They're still adorable. Yeah, Spam's a little asshole, too. Spam's a dumbass piece. Spam's a dumbass. Oh, I should put blood stains on the walls, maybe. And I know this is a kid's book, but... So anyway, there's terrible, right? Have, have, have I, you I not seen what they've done? Hmm? Done in kids shows? I said, have you not seen what they've done in kids shows lately? I don't know. I don't really watch kids shows, but tell me what they have done. Show me the horror. Uh, All right. So I was taking care of Dexter and, and them over at the YMCA and shit, right? Mm -hmm. And I was shocked with to see that it, in one of the cartoons on Cartoon Network, there was a guy that literally got his head chopped off in the middle of the cartoon. Oh, really? And kids were, yeah, and the kids were laughing. I was like, holy shit, that was graphic. <laughs> Great, dude. Yeah. But like, apparently cartoon violence is not that violent. Didn't they do kind of the same thing when they got pissed off? 
Mm-hmm. Like, didn't they get mad at people for doing that? Yep. You gotta love double standards. Mm. Yeah, they had, like, Bugs Bunny in a dress at one point, and they're like, oh, fuck. I'm like, it's funny. It's camp. It's what they call camp. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm getting over the we can do this, but you can't thing. It's so annoying. Yeah. What about ink? What about ink? I'll probably draw ink somewhere later. Dude, ink is a hormonal monster. <laughs> Why are you calling a hormone or a hormonal monster? I've heard it be called. Is. How is she, she hormonal? Is. I'm just confused. Uh, okay. She's hormonal. Okay, okay. A hormonal monster. One minute she wants to be, be my best friend. The next minute she wants to snip my throat. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. wait. Right. Yeah, cut off. She loved Edith. No, she hated Edith. She fucking hated Edith. Listen to it. I thought they were pretty funny. I saw them lay on the counter. Huh. Uh, I guess she was. But mean. yes. <laughs> nah, I joke. Nah, ink. I like ink. It's kind of funny. I asked like, my cat, though. What? She's a bitch. Yeah. Also, Ink's kind of a bitch. Like, Ink the bitch. That's what I call her. <laughs> She's this mean cat. That's all. I don't know, 26 pages, is that, like, enough for a kid's book? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just saying if I can... How much does... I forgot if KDP publishes off the top of my head. How many... What's the minimum they publish in color? Ooh. That, I don't know. You'd have to look up on that one. Mm-hmm. I might as well that we'd have to look, to be honest. You know what they used to call cats back in the day? Catlings. I'm like, that's Ooh. an interesting. Yeah. It's the uh, most interesting thing they used to call animals back in the day. Yeah, I recently found out because, like, when I was watching uh, the Sandman TV show, and I was, yeah. like, trying to understand some of the, the verbiage that they were saying, like, during the. 1800s, but um, certain breeds of dog, they actually used to call them uh, uh, sour mutts because certain breeds of dogs um, back in the day were known to literally like the where they would dump their 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 pee and their poo, right? Some breeds of dogs would actually with their existing stuff out of their diet and would go eat it, which was disgusting. Yeah. So they would call them sour mutts. Yeah, that makes you know, sense. Right? Because, yeah, because the thing is, is that cat, dogs will eat cat shit because of the protein, because cats require more protein. Because mm -hmm. I get more viewers, I'm saying that the dogs eat cat shit. So, but what about ink? Yes, ink. So I'm drawing this thing. Sucks. I like how it just says sucks. Maybe I should put it as hot pink too. When you're creating your own book, it is the thing. Let me just do that. There we go. Sucks. I was remember when Rudy Giuliani was running around and they had him on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah, now you remember. Everybody. Yeah, it was like kind of funny. Now it's like, oh, he's such an asshole. I'm like, okay, you do remember, like he actually helped clean up New York, but whatever. So anyway, because he actually did. Like it used to be really bad, from what I heard. <laughs> and then, um, and like 9/11 happened, so like that was unfortunate. But yeah, so mm -hmm. it was funny because it's like he's like. He's like, this, this, and this sucks. Like, it's like they had an issue with a, like a, um, like a graffiti problem. 
So he said, this is how I solve it. It's like, it sucks, you know, <laughs> like so-and-so, so, so-and-so sucks. Basically we'll put sucks. Back. So there you go. I think that fits better. What do you think? Mm -hmm. There you go. You know what? <sighs> now I'm eating my uh, chicken wings finally because they finally got done. You know what, yeah. what, what food that we should probably yeah. eat next? Because uh, of uh, Japanese Wait, wait, wait. That yeah. stuff is just, in and out. I don't eat. We're breaking. You're breaking. Japanese. Uh, all right, hold on. Okay. Fried chicken. Uh -huh. fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken, yeah. Oh, he farted on national yeah. TV. His dyed hair was yeah. from his hair. That was really TV. weird. I didn't see the fart, but I saw the dyed hair. I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, he's an older guy, so yeah. But then there's other politicians that like have done that, which is kind of interesting too. Like, I guess there was this really old guy from New York. I think he was a senator, and like he walked really weird off the thing, and we're like, what happened? And I guess people were saying, oh yeah, he took a dump in his pants. I'm like, this even gets better and better. I'm just sitting there like, okay, you know, like, awesome. I fucking wanted to know about fucking politicians shitting in their own pants and stuff. Uh, now, my favorite thing is how uh, one of the people in Congress blasted our um, our congressman. Like, 17 can't get credit cards because they have bad credit. 20 are getting sued. Like, 50 of them are, have been arrested in the last year. Insane. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nuts. That's pretty funny. <laughs> do do do. Yeah, it's like funny because now I can use these lunch hours to show people that I'm actually working on my fucking book for the Kickstarter. This is one of them. I'm already pretty much done. I'm just waiting on a few other images from other people, but that's pretty much it. And this will be drawn badly, I promise you. It's like, there we go. And so when you think you're, you're, you're going to drop it, the uh, Kickstarter? I'm probably going to probably do it in uh, April, it looks like, just because, like, everybody's taxes will be done and hopefully everybody will get a refund. I, I'm not doing it now because of the economic circumstances. And not only that, I kind of have a feeling that, you know, they're probably not, they're going to renege on doing a lot of taxes this year because everybody's kind of pissed off on the inflation and the increased cost of living, if that makes sense. Oh, well, yeah. Like, so they kind of don't want to lose that. So I think that's probably what's going to happen. So that, so they, they're probably going to extend more tax relief to more Americans last minute, or they just won't enact certain laws. Like they were going to do that PayPal law, but now they, they're not doing it. They're holding off on it. It's like, yeah, fuckers. Like, we're not the people that you should be concerned about. So. We have to pay that a lot. Well, yeah, big government. We know. So let's see here. But yeah, let's see here. What were they going to do with the, with the PayPal? What? The PayPal? Oh, it's like if you made more than... 600 they were going to charge you taxes and a lot of people were like yeah fuck you and uh, a lot of people were pretty mad about that so that's what ended up happening they ignore so basically they're saying okay we're not doing it ah this represents pavement well yay i feel like i'm a little kid scribbling in this i mean i know i can just probably like shut it down and just do it but i kind of like doing it this way like i just like coloring like a little kid in a book Do, do, do. Whoa, wow, there's crazy. Flips. Yep. Sorry, I had to restart the page. It was jacking up. So, wow. So, basically, if you made 600, they'd start taxing. Like, they taxed insane. the transactions that were 600. Mm. It's kind of shitty that way. Yeah, because 
I mean, how many times are they going to tax a dollar? I mean, seriously. I don't know. They're kind of ridiculous that way. But I'm going to wait until my Kickstarter for that. So stay tuned, people. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. Actually, it's going to be probably horrible, but you guys will buy it anyway. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm writing my Kickstarter up and all that other shit, so hopefully that'll get done, amongst other things. <laughs> uh, what a fucking day. It's been kind of a month. You know about it. I'm not going to yeah. get into it, but I, I've had a month, let's just say. I think it's everybody that's had a fucking month, it looks like. Yeah, uh, I think it's safe to say. I think that's a valid point to grasp. Yeah. Oh man. Is that your is that your fucking app appliance? Yes. Okay. Yes. We... I wonder what's going to be the tax break this coming year. I don't know what's going to be a tax break at all. Pops don't speak the truth or they'll get you guys for me. Embrace the new insect overlords. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I just do demon bitch. What can I say? Hmm. Well, funny observation about James Gunn's last two projects. What about him? They all had to deal with mind control. Oh, that's funny. Like, Starro and the Suicide Squad was oh, mind yeah. controlling people. Oh, and yeah. Then, right. And then uh, Peacemaker, the aliens were mind controlling people. Mm -hmm. Mind control, mind control. So, I'm going to laugh if. Guardians 3 has a mind control person. I'm pretty sure they will. You know they will. Did he work on uh, Guardians 3 or is that somebody else? No, he did. They brought him back. Oh, okay. Imagine that. Let, okay, let me tell you why I do what I do too. Why I think James Gunn is awesome. Because fucking that dude, he like worked for Troma Film. Now, if you guys don't know Troma, they do the fucking trashiest ass fucking movies on the planet and they are beautiful and the guy <laughs> fuck i forgot lloyd kaufman lloyd kaufman is awesome you meet him he's the nicest motherfucker on the planet i'm telling you yeah. dude like he is he's nice like he's such a sweet guy like he, he's just like you know he even did one with angry video game nerd about toxic the toxic avenger yeah yeah and they did tromeo and juliet yep that's true yeah. Yeah. He's the best. Well, that guy is great. I, <laughs> I think you're like one of the b biggest, uh, you know, uh, James Gunn fans I've met in a long time. And it's probably because like James Gunn one is like down to earth. And two, he's just not your typical Hollywood director either. You know, like he, he just wants to have fun. Like, you know, a lot of people were speculating that when he he did uh, that horror movie version of uh, Superman, that he did that to prove that he's probably the best dude to do the new Warner Brothers properties. You know, for oh, the DCEU. That was, that was Brightburn, right? Yep, Brightburn. Yeah, that was honestly. Like Superman. Yeah, honestly, I think it worked. You know, I thought it was pretty yeah. cool. Well, they're coming out with, like, they came out with the boys. I mean, that's not his work, but it's, like, kind of about a maladjusted fucking asshole Superman, so. Yeah. I, I love the boys. I love how the boys, you know, kind of throws the middle finger at, like, both sides of the aisle, so to speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. and, and they don't apologize about it. Like, uh -huh. I, I find it entertaining. I really right. do. Yeah. Oh, I'm like enjoying this 
this whole fucking thing right now. It's like I'm it's like being a fucking kid again, but better. Cuz I'm an adult and I can say bad words and um I won't get smacked in the mouth for saying the word fuck. <laughs> I told you half the story of the shit I've I've been through as a kid when it came to bad words. Actually, I didn't really I wasn't really I didn't swear for the longest time and then I rediscovered it and I was happy. I used to not cuss at all until I joined the army. <laughs> There's a lot of that that happens in the army. Yeah, you're like, you goddamn piece of shit, and you're yelling at them. God damn it. <laughs> my nose yeah. My yeah, I don't know. It's just back when in the day, I just didn't see a need in it. You know, so I didn't cuss as much. But then when you get into that culture of, of the military, it's like, the F bomb is like a comma. <laughs> it's a comma. It's a space. It's a hyphen. It's a verb. It's an adverb. Uh huh. You know, it's yeah. <laughs> we use the F word all the time. Give me just one. I'm just doing this. You do you, homie. Sorry, I'm doing Asian Invasion because I do this thing called scheduling it ex exclusively and stuff. Okay, add those in. Sorry, I'm doing this. Oh, Philip like flipped out. He'll flip back in probably. There we go. Mm -hmm. We. Oh, All right. That's awesome. So I sent that out, Asian Invasion Frame, so I'm good. Ugh. God, my work is never. Well, my work is done sometimes. So how did you come up with the Asian Invasion idea? Well, let's say, okay, so it was last year, early last year. And I was. Um, a lot of my friends, I live on the West Coast, so California. So we were the ones that had the more stricter enforcements in the place with COVID, right? So what it is, is that the annoying thing that would happen on the West Coast was is that, you know, a lot of us, like some of the cons opened up only to close back down again because mm -hmm. they were afraid of the numbers. So I said, okay. Right. And a lot of people, like, were upset because it's like, fuck, I wanted to go and be in this con, but I can't. And, you know, some of them were ish having issues with money. And th it's not like these are people that are fuck arounds. It's like they're serious artists, but it's like, you know, so a lot of our, a lot of our income is from cons. Let's face it, you know, and shows and all that, you know? So what I did was, as I said, well, fuck this, we're going to go do something. So what I did was, is that I just said, okay, well, we're going to go and make a show and we'll call it Asian invasion. And I knew just the perfect star owner to do it because his ethnicity is Japanese and so nobody's going to give him any shit. So, and I went and asked and we set up a certain amount of people. We waited until it was okay and we did it. Yeah. And it was pretty good. We did it twice last year, but I kind of wanted to, I want to kind of do it like a once a year thing at one location and then another year at another location. So. No, hey, I mean, we're working that's how on, you grow it, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of funny and I'm kind of happy about it. So I've been sort of working my butt off about it, but um, I'm trying to get like more, it's just things are kind of moving slower at this moment, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just, it's taking the time it's taking right now. So that's what I'm trying to do. So. Well, listen, it looks like they're going to cut off the rest of the power. So I ain't got much time left. Mm -hmm. Uh all right, I, I'm gonna have to scoot off this one, Omi. Sorry okay. for the interruptions, but all right. All right, I'm, I'll call you later or something. All right, sounds good. Okay. All right. Bye bye. So anyway, guys, you got me on here, and I'm just trying to draw. Fuck, this is annoying, dude. I sometimes I hate when you can't get right the right fucking color and everything. So let's see here. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Carnivores unite. Yes. I like eating meat. That is tasty. Okay. 
And this is disgusting because this is all poo. You have no idea in downtown LA how much poop I have to look at sometimes. And it's people curbing their dogs and it's sometimes and it's not dog poo. See you, Phil. Right? Do do do. Ew, as my friend would say. Ew, drawing turds and stuff. Oh, yay, I'm popular. Now people are retweeting my stuff. It is nice when people retweet your stuff. You feel good about life and yourself. And you don't cry. Ew, L.A. hanky, right? Pretty much. And this is like some, how some of it is. God, this looks terrible. It actually looks like a shitty cutout, like a shitty cutout of like some paper around like a picture that sucks. Oh, I also got to see if something is up here. Right. Ew. <sighs> so, yeah. How's everybody else doing today? What you got planned? What you got planned? What you got planned? You LA hanky, pretty much. Working on my comic. Yeah, which comic is yours? I mean, I think I've seen it. Please don't think I didn't pay attention. I'm just trying to remember what it is because I see so many fucking things. I'm just like. Just throwing a big gob of green, whatever. You're like, ew. I'm like, you're right. It is ew. Ew. Working on my comic. Actually, these are kind of good. I'm tracing that so it's like people know where this is going. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, eventual heart. I think I've seen that. Yes. It's like, if I ask guys, it's not that I don't pay attention to your stuff. It's just, I just look at so much shit. I have to double check it. So unless if you're like asking me every second of the fucking day, I'm just probably not going to know. And then let's just do this purple squid thing because it's disgusting and gross. Uh, I can picture a smear of L.A. Hanky all over the Hollywood star. Oh, God. Who's L.A. Hanky? I know of L.A. Of Mr. Hanky. Is that who you're talking about? I have the first few pages on top of us. Well, drop it down on the link, guys. Drop it down. I'm going to drop down my link right here. If you guys want to check it out. I have to switch something off, though. good and here's my link tree again guys check this out check it out this is everything me have fun yeah um drop it all down in the link crimson owl you're welcome to do that if you got links drop them down tell them what's going on okay this is fine one. Oh. Amen, Owl. Hope to publish it in a physical book. Oh, cool. That's always a good thing, publishing it in a physical book. I would do that. I highly rec recommend that if you don't go nuts. Trust me, I know from experience on that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, pick it up. I can't look at it in here, unfortunately, because how they have the comments set up, I can't easily highlight and copy paste it over there. It's fucking annoying. And I'm in the middle of doing three things, so I apologize. But everybody else can. So if you need exposure on that, you are welcome to use that. So... nice very good guys so yeah let me take a look on this we
Okay. James Luther Collins had another was born in Nephilim, conceived in 1835. He is a product of his human mother, Emily Collins, and a rapist, Lucifer. Outside worlds regarded the monsters helped Emily to give James a normal life, but Lucifer had other plans and massacred almost everyone close to his son. James awakens in 1985 after being presumed dead, seeking vengeance for what he's lost. Yeah, Lucifer has been known not to have really good, um, really good things with his kids or really good relationships with his kids. Also, I need to go write this down. See, all the time I have a lot of stuff going on. So I got to write it down. So this is what how being a creative is. It's just sometimes you just got to go and do it. And it's crazy. There you go. Come on, can I? Oh, I got to do insert one above. Oh, I got to sign in. Do, do, do. I hear you. Yeah, it's funny. So 326. I like how this does, happens. 326. Panel, I have a, apparently a panel on 326, so we'll see what it's called. Funny, I guess he knows him. Oh, it's amazing how many people know each other in this community. It's interesting. It's I just emailed somebody about something and they were CC'd and they said, "Oh, I know this guy." So that's cool. There we go. So demon bitch is getting garbage thrown at her by homeless people. That says a lot. This is also what Christy has to do. Christy also has to go and put up stuff on this as well. Ugh. Let me go and do this. I have to go put up some things up in the event. Because hooray. Okay. It's between the comic and YouTube channel. It's hard to keep them on other creators' work. Yeah, sometimes it's like people go like, hey, look at my stuff in my face. And I'm not saying in a bad way. Like, they'll give me something. And I'll look at it, and I'm like, oh, cool. I'll flip through a few pages with the full intent of reading it. And then later on, I'm like, oh, my brain is full. I can't read right now. I got an idea from Drawing C. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Go tell it. Throwing a purple dildo at demon bitch. That's awesome. I'm sure you're gonna showcase that at the live stream one of these days. Don't make it too dildo-y or else they may they may tag him. 
So, oh, Christine needs to go and do this shit right here. <sighs> I'm just also thinking something else, too. I have to add some stuff here. If you're wondering, why can't I wait until afterwards? It's like, I'd love to wait until afterwards. I think I should move it over here because there's other stuff I need to do. Ugh, man, can't believe Asian invasion. And I'm going to have six months full of like in-store crazy shit right now. Everything is amazing. I'm going to go to the events page. So, yeah, the only time I ever read comics, but Quentin's laughing. The only time I ever read comics is that when a guest sends me a book to look at. Yeah, I'm kind of crappy about that sometimes. I really don't want to be rude. It's like I'm never wanting to be rude about that. It's just I want to give people credence as much as they give me. And I don't think that's bad. It's just what fucking sucks is sometimes like I'm really, really, really like my brain is so full. I'm like have a bunch of shit I got to take care of. Ugh, nice. Yeah, right. So we're going to go do this. So let's go do some more. Sorry, I had to like send some stuff before I forgot because that's just how it is sometimes. I mean, honestly, like with a lot of creators, no matter how organized we are and no matter how streamlined we have our workspace or whatever, we're always full of chaotic stuff. So letting you know if this is how it is with me, chances are it's probably like this with some creators as well. 
then I got to get back to like writing some stuff after I take a bit of a break. Because, you know, Christy needs to go where the steam is or else it's not going to work. So it's kind of crazy that way. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to go and draw this thing. True that, right? So you know. through that right oh yeah i'm helping write a script i feel pretty damn good about it it's like i actually don't suck as a writer it's like you actually like the dialogue in it so far stuff like that so so i drew more than i wrote i guess i'll write more than i draw sometimes it is inevitable There we go. This is how I shade in stuff. Okay. There we go. True that, right? This book is going to be really cool. I'm very glad about this book. This book is... Let me also do a plus thing over here. There we go. Got the coloring straight for Mr. F word. trying to think who else <laughs> true that right it's like crazy how insane sometimes your life gets about that kind of looking asian invasion I'm also seeing who else because I, I want to make sure everything is together because if I don't um, if I leave somebody out it's not that they're going to be assholes it's like everybody's really cool I just want to make sure I got everybody down 
because I hate it if I don't have anybody fucking down and I'm like, oh shit, it's these people. Okay, cool. So I put the other Asian invasion up in the episode in the thing. So that's good. Yay. There's a guy no name Dexter Cockburn, and it's like a funny name. I don't want to mock him. He's a nice guy, but it's funny. So I had to do that on Facebook. I still miss L.A. You know, I do miss L.A. I don't think I would ever not want to live in L.A., which is kind of cool. So there you go. Meet Mr. F word. He says all the bad words. That's what's great about Mr. F word. Still miss LA, right? People like tell me, oh, I don't need you today. I don't want to even be there, blah, blah, blah. And like, I like LA. I don't think it's as bad. That name almost shook me from my protein shake, right? He's like laughing.
is Barry McCockner. Oh, I don't want to make fun of the guy's like fucking name. I mean, he's a pretty cool guy. He's not an asshole. I don't want to be like mocking him. That would be kind of shitty. I don't. It just it was like Cockburn. Just I think of like burning cock or something. That's just me being an immature asshole. See you later. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks for joining, man. Appreciate it. Got involved in this. There we go. There is not a bright spot in LA on this in this section. Cochram. Oh yeah. But it's usually like Cochrane or something. You know. There's a late but great X Men artist called Dave Cochram. There's also Cochran, but it's spelled differently. Let me just message somebody real quick. Like that great Cochrane. Oh, let's do some Jim Lee hatching. I don't know how to do Jim Lee hatching. I just am doing it because I'm trying to add more texture to this shitty fucking environment right here. I just like doing weird shit like this. Ugh.
Oh, this is kind of cool. It's flat market. Oh, yeah. Frank Cho is fucking good. I don't know how he does his texture stuff. Oh, stop it, you stupid thing. Yeah, I don't know how he does his texture stuff, but I think, he, yeah, he does a ballpoint's really good for that because you can go over it and kind of have a nice little velvety texture at the end. I know what you're talking about. He does badass bullet point. I agree. There we go. So let's go put some gross red stuff. And well, there's gross pink stuff. Let's do some red shit, some green shit, some blue shit, some brown shit here. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of um, the brown shit and all that. That kind of reminds me of Rocky Horror Picture Show where he says purple shit, like red shit, yellow shit, green shit, purple shit. And indigo shit, violet shit. Like, we were being such assholes, like, when we were yelling. Well, you're supposed to do that at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, so I just think it's kind of funny. So I'm just going out of my way to just be the silliest as I can be. Spoiled. Oh, God. You know, now that I think about that, that's actually wildly nauseating in a weird way. God, those are great homeless hotels, right? <laughs> Spilled Pepto-Bismol. That's nasty. I, now that I think of it, that's horrible. Like, spoiled Pepto-Bismol, what would that look like? And even though Pepto-Bismol is this, like, rather banal, like, sort of fucking red, you just kind of wonder about it. You're like, oh, shit. Open. Open, open, open. I don't know if you need that. know that one. Oh, wait, I forgot to do page one.
seeing if anybody's looked at this. I also have to kind of observe like different companies that I'm doing like with Kumio, like we're releasing certain things in the future, but I have to keep track of those as well as with Philip because Philip and I were actually business partners. We're co-owners, so we're going and looking at that. No news, new news yet to speak of. We release things as they are concrete, but also I'm doing Asian Invasion. I'm doing a lot of other things, so it's like, holy fuck. So this is my life. Holy fuck. So Don Ho will be here. Don Ho is an anchor for, um, for basically, um, Don Ho is an anchor for, uh, for uh, Silver Surfer. Now he's doing Warlock and the fucker is always late <laughs> to the events. It's kind of a joke between us. So if you see us joking on Facebook about that shit, it's hilarious because we're laughing our asses off about that crap. But I said, you'll be late. I said, he said, Facebook already hates me. I said, because you're late. Sound like an autumn, awesome title of an autobiography. Yeah, right? All right, let's go do this. Oh, wait, oops, let me do this. Pretty much is. Was it? I will be late. It's funny because, like, when I was looking at my phone, switching stuff around, it's like, oh like that so yeah this is it this is my life and this is my life <laughs> and then creating other shit is my life I'll probably take a bit of a break and then I'll do more shit that's part of my life so there you go <laughs> and I have to get up in the morning and like start writing some other shit too because it's on deadline I mean it's like just I, I'm actually more than halfway through it I just have to kind of do my first pass about it but I have to have that go going on so <sighs> oh. I'm also going to play a little something as well. right? All right, let's see here. We're going to go do the concrete first because that's the main shit. I just do this first because that way it's like out of the way. That way I have my baseline. <sighs> Mm-hmm. 
right? My life sounds like an autobiography sometimes. Demon bitch. Demon bitch. I'm also seeing their activity right here. Right, and I'm also putting stuff up to, this is what Christy has to do sometimes. Now Christy has to do some stuff like put some more stuff up on Asian Invasion. Ow, damn it.
Christy does this thing called Twitter too. Christy, people wonder if Christy, Christy actually does stuff on Twitter. She does. It's called, um, Oh, cool. Somebody retweeted that. Who retweeted my stuff? Oh, nice. Kurt Sasso. He's a really cool guy. <sighs> Let's see here. Yay. Awesome title of autobiography, right? All right. Sorry, I got to get back to drawing. Sometimes I'll take breaks in drawing while I'm doing this just to get my fucking verb back. It's not meant to be insulting. It's like sometimes I'll just work for a while. I'm like, oh, I need to take a break. Like probably after this, I'm going to take a break and run off and do other things. So. Demon bitch. People are really loving the demon bitch thing. Oh, yeah, stay tuned for the realities of publishing right here. I want to, well, too bad uh, Crimson Owl left because that would have been a good thing for him to take, him or her to take a look at. I don't know. Crimson Owl's a boy or girl, so sorry. Or whatever.
Do, 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 do. I'm making Mr. Effort have very, very simple coloring here because he is supposed to be a nondescript entity. This looks like fucking graffiti on the ground. It's great. Okay. Taking this off. Gotta get the colors and continuity right here. So, um, gotta do that. I'll probably work on the other ones, but I got three pages done. That's actually pretty fucking good. Egg lady. Where's egg lady? What are you talking about? That's funny that you mentioned egg lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the background. <laughs> yeah. Egg lady. There you go. Egg lady had to raise her prices. What? From potato well, those potato fajitas are hard to kind of get. Potato fajitas. Potato fajitas. My friend was offended when she saw that. She was like, what? And she's a, one of the sweetest people when she saw that. She's like, the potato fajitas. She was like really angry about that. That was pretty funny. Almost tense and stuff. Ugh. Potato fajitas.
an egg and a potato. Yeah, they're kind of similarly shaped, aren't they? Oh, that was a figure. I wasn't into that drawing. Breakfast burritos need both. I'm not really into potatoes that much. It's just because they kind of fuck with my stomach, unfortunately, after my operation. So I can't really eat them. Right, something like that. I mean, they're good. Breakfast burritos need both. Yeah, I don't like mine with potatoes, but that's kind of fucks because it fucks with my stomach. That's one the one regrettable thing. I don't really have like a real hatred of potatoes. What kind of sucks is that because of my my stomach and what they had to do, it kind of doesn't make it good. There we go. So, oh, I've been told. Okay. All lonesome looking. So it looks like I'm going to have to go, guys. But I wanted to say, see me next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Wednesdays, from 12 to 2. And I will talk to you guys later. And I'll be also on Philip's show, uh, Comic Pulp, for at an hour beforehand, 11 to 12. So you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. And goodbye. So I'm going to run a couple of sponsors. And we're out of here. So let me do that. Me. Okay. Where's the sponsors? Here we go. I have to have it in a certain way. Damn it.